what is up everybody welcome back to my channel mystic watch and today we got a pvp video so i found out like a day ago that top 100 was going on and i'm like oh shoot maybe i should do it so uh then found out that uh i missed a week already of top 100 i said well that's unfortunate so top 100 has the same exact rewards this time around right uh uh, I don't know where you can see it, but pretty much it is the same Hellbrum that I already own. So if I go to my box and show you guys. This is Hellbrum right here. I, I already own this Hellbrum, uh, but I don't have him max uh, max dupe. So I said, you know what? Maybe I can still aim for top uh, top 100 and get a copy of him, right? You know, just just get a max out over time little little by little. And then the, the main reason why I want to do top 100 is because this week's rules, specifically, uh, I don't care about the second one. It's not as relevant right now. People aren't really running uh, R's and SR's. Uh, their stats are increased, which is nice, but it's only the basic stats. Uh, if it was all their stats, uh, it'd be so much more better, but whatever. Uh, stand firm. Increase all heroes defense related stats by 50%. So what this means to me is an opportunity to use Mikasa. So my team is not good at all. Uh, I did manage to get to two challenger. I was champion five two days ago and I managed to got to the challenger with almost a 90% win rate with this team. Uh, and I was using coin food. So I'm hoping that, you know, I can do stuff in top 100. But my last match, I lost so badly. I'm like, maybe my team just sucks. The issue is Mikasa is only good during certain weeks of uh, PvP. She is not a good unit uh, as a like as a standout unit, right? Or how should I say this? She's not a good unit, uh, excluding rules. So she's very, she's not that good, but she's still my favorite unit in the game. So whenever I get an opportunity to use her, even if it means there's plenty of better teams out right now, pretty much meaning if you use Lost Vein, your chances of winning the game go up by 30%. It doesn't matter. I'm here to use Mikasa. The whole concept of my team is to just uh, survive a little bit of damage and uh, get Mikasa ramping up. If you are new to my PvP videos that involve Mikasa, what she actually does is... See, I don't like that. Why Why are you doing that? Uh, he has cleanse, but my Mikasa does not die here. So uh, I don't know the gem colors, but I'm assuming it's a 6-6. Six, six. No, maybe? Looks like a 6-6, six, six, right? I mean, the, the Esteros is dead. There's no way he's not. So he's going to cleanse here with King, and then he's going to ult. But if my Mikasa lives, it's really good for me. And then once my Mikasa lives, it's usually fine from there. So Mikasa's passive works where she... Let, let's see if he forgets to use the cleanse, and he just attacks me. Because that's definitely a thing. He didn't cleanse. You'll love to see it. This this attack is going to probably kill my Esterosa, but do like half, half damage to my... Um, uh, to the other two units. Watch this. Like, uh, I doubt... This is. A, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, it barely did anything. Furu counter! Furu counter! Furu counter! Okay. So, now that I did that, I, I have won the game. Right? So, that's kind of how Mikasa works. You kind of just uh, sit there, do nothing, and uh, once you get a couple of stacks, and if you're still relatively healthy, you can sweep through the entire game on your own. Uh, Mikasa's passive is increases every single stat of hers by 3% for when an ally gets hit up to 10 times. So she gets 30% stat increases overall, and it gets to the point where once she's at max uh, stacks or 10 stacks, uh, she is borderline impossible to kill. So the issue with Mikasa as a unit is uh, she doesn't get to that point because she just like the game's over by then. So that's why I really enjoy this uh, this week's rules. Ah, unfortunate. I haven't gotten a single Lilia card over three turns, which is really rough. So we do this. 
which is fine. Now, now he can definitely kill my Mikasa. And if he does, I lose. Probably. But ah, it depends. It depends uh, because his Merlin, uh, his Merlin has the attack, uh, attack down right now. So chances are she like the Merlin. If I was given estimate, this king is going to do half my health. And then the Merlin is probably going to do uh, like 40%. Oh, the king did oh, the king did more because the king actually ignores. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, the king does uh, ignore defense or resistance on his attack on his ult, and I don't know which one. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you don't have uh, ults coming up, uh, I don't care about the other stuff. Uh, I actually patience this. Uh, if his if his Merlin's on an HP defense set and uses a level one card, I uh, don't actually lose an ultimate gauge. But if it's a uh, if it's level two, then I'll definitely get hit by it. See. Ah, uh, it's over. It's over. I won. Because I do this and my Mikasa is up next turn. It doesn't matter what I do here. Esserosa ult come in clutch. And here we go. This is it. This is the time. Oh man, what are you gonna do, man? Huh? Nothing. You gotta do absolutely nothing. So I am going to kill King here, because King's the biggest threat. One. Uh we'll pop this up because uh, I don't care about Master Rosa anymore. And Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, because I kinda want him to attack my uh, I, I kind of want him to hit my Mikasa with Merlin just to just to show him that he has no chance, right? Like ne next turn, I'll show you my Mikasa stats and it'll, <laughs> it'll make sense. Uh, this Meliodas actually dies on this turn. He has the bleed on him and you saw that I did about three quarters of his HP. The bleed is going to pop off and kill him. I'm still not sure if I want to grind for top 100. Uh, these matches do take very long, and I only have two days left. Like, normally I'd already be about 50, 60 matches in out of my 100 matches. Is he canceling? Oh, no, no, no. This is, um... Oh, it's fine. Okay, watch this Meliodas just fall over now. <laughs> 62k damage. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Okay. Um. Oh, right, right, right. So I I have attack related stats down, and even with that, look at look at all this stuff. Okay. Like 260k HP, almost 40k defense. Okay, that's fine. So I don't care about putting the bleed on the on the Escanor because he has the HP related stats buff. He has 10%. He has whatever it is. His buff is 30% uh, HP related stats. He has lifesteal included as one of those stats. So putting the bleed does absolutely nothing for now. Uh, and watch this. This is going to do about half my health. Not even. Quarter. 90, 90k. But you got to remember I'm... Uh, Almost 300k HP. Yeah. Good job. Uh, 
Okay, his attack buff is uh, is gone after his turn. It's fine. The problem is he has two ways of getting rid of ultimates. So it's very hard for me to actually get an ultimate off right now as Mikasa. I, I just got to hope he bricks at some point. Um, I, I don't die to this, I think. I died to it. This is an issue. It's because it was Merlin. Merlin at the end is uh, really, really rough to go up against. It's like, I, I really needed to get my ults off, and I just couldn't. Oh, I hate this move. There's no damage. Totally impossible to uh, to do anything about that. It's almost guaranteed that he he has a card that can get rid of ultimates. Unfortunate, but we go on to the next one. Okay. So, the ideal team I would like to run is Mikasa, Fraudrin, Dari Red Derriere. I feel like that would be uh, a team that works well, because right now I lose to Ult Rush uh, if they get two ultimates together. Uh, usually a single ultimate can't kill me. Patience, nice. I don't like that. Stop doing damage. Okay. I went second, so I can actually... Oh, no, no, no. Wrong card. I can actually just uh, get my, my ultimate straight up. And the nice thing is I don't have to worry about AoE cards because I'm not critting Meliodas this time around. He has 50% crit resistance. He's not getting crit. But it also means neither are we. Like, look at that. No crits. He's at his ultimate. But I just kill him off. And the game's... Uh, am I already at 7 stacks? 6 stacks. But my attack is still down for a little, for a little bit. It's fine, though. Uh, we attack you just to get uh, both his passive reset. Ooh. I do want to try swapping. Um, the Estrosa works, but I, I want to see if I can do this with the Red Derriere. And Zeldris as well. But the problem is, my red Zeldris is not built. And I don't have UR gear for him. I mean, I don't I don't have UR gear for Lilia either. Oh, we'll get a heal off. And we will 
do this. Oh, I had two Lilia cards. I'm blind. Okay, well. That's fine. I kind of don't want uh, Estrosa to live. Like, Estrosa's job is to make sure my Mikasa gets some stacks of passive. But after a certain point, I, I don't care. Because uh, the attack debuff is prevents me from actually, like, lo look at that damage. Oh, what did you do? Like, 2k damage to my... Oh my god, you hate to see it. I'm um, definitely at 10 stacks now. Yep. We're popping off. Okay. Uh, what cards? What cards? What cards? Ah, uh, unfortunate. It's easier to save Mikasa cards and just merge them to get a faster ultimate. That's why I didn't use her level 1 bleed. Perfect example. Ooh, good damage. Good damage. I'll pick the cube. Um, I think. I just do this twice. Oh, so it's gonna go off on the on the king. It's not. That's unfortunate. I didn't have a. Yeah. Yeah. We might have. Uh... We might be in the predicament here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay, my Mikasa is chilling. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this first attack is going to do big damage, but then the second one is not going to do as much because of Estrosa. Okay, he has to cleanse here. Uh, if he doesn't cleanse, the Gother dies. Okay, he's invasioning the arrow. That's not going to do damage. It did some damage. Oh, but it was level 3. Perfect. And that's, uh, that's the game. Now, I do want to try. Maybe, maybe I'll put on Derriere regardless and see how it works. The issue is not having UR gear makes such a big difference. And I don't have the Zeldris outfits yet either. Ideally, the... Okay. It's on my me. Give me a... Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, that's gonna do more damage. 50k? Like, the Estrosa hits hard. It's just, um... Uh... I, I need more damage on the team. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swap in Derriere and see see what happens. Okay, so win or lose this is gonna be our last game. Now the problem is I put on Derriere and I lost about six k CC, which is absolutely massive. So I I am curious to see how this is gonna go. Come on, 
Show me your move. Okay, one stack. Good job. Darius is already popping off, I believe. We'll do this. We'll go double Darius and into Lilia. Now my dairy is already a threat. Oof. Let's see if he has the petrify. He didn't use a king card yet. Uh, which means he probably does. I think I just lose. And this is why I need Fraudrin for the, the ultimate gauge control. Because I just lose the ult rush. But super unlucky with the with the Fraudrin rolls, unfortunately. Hmm. King's gonna do wipe. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Like uh, I can survive one, but I can't. I can't survive both. That is fine. I think the the first uh, two matches were good, so we're gonna leave it off there. Hopefully, you enjoyed some of the Mikasa gameplay. I always like. I, I know this team isn't isn't anything amazing, but I, uh, any opportunity I get to use Mikasa, I try to use her uh, just because she's a fun unit that you see almost nowhere. Like, like. Besides Seton using it a handful of times, well, Seton is the reason why I'm using it. But besides Seton, uh, you, you'll never see Mikasa being used online. So I try to use her whenever I can. I, I really enjoy using units that people, other people don't use. So that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.